Not everyone can appreciate the sounds of the dead Kennedys, but then that's punk music for you. Strident, frenetic, and often angry. It's something that's supposed to be gut level and interesting, far more true to the original spirit of rock and roll than anything like ACDC or Men at Work. The it's, supposed to, it's supposed to be upsetting and get under your skin to get people out of their... Anti-stupidity and anti-normality, shall we say. It's to get people out of their little apathetic shells and to uh, get involved in what's going on around them, maybe, instead of just sitting around at home. Get people out of their ruts by, you know, knocking them on the side. It's a state of mind more than a stereotype, really, because part of the original intention of punk was to... Uh, break down different kinds of uniforms and uh, social etiquette that were getting in the way of people's uh, open The band is strongly political, anti-violence and anti-apathy. Even though they are both emotions, the band sometimes arouses in people. The apathy from people who couldn't care less about their music and the violent feelings from those who find the band's name offensive. Doesn't having a name like that tend to attract notoriety for the band. Some well, what's say, wrong with that? Some might, say, some might say that you're cashing in on a fairly tasteless uh, Well, but why don't you look at the, the amount of money we've made and then, then decide whether we're cashing in or not. You can't cash in if you don't get much money out of it. You know, we can survive off the band, but it took us a long point, just long time just to get to that point. And um, so it's not as not as though it's a big label. exploitation thing. This is one of the band's better known tunes called Holiday in Cambodia. Among other song titles are Too Drunk, Kill the Poor and Terminal Preppy. For the Kennedys, their lyrics say it all, even if you can't make out the words when performed live. And live is the most probable way of hearing them, because radio programmers seem hesitant to schedule their songs. They don't sell a lot of records either but then they don't see those conventional yardsticks as a measure of success. Our idea of success is if somebody comes into the show that has never been to a punk show before and has real or closed attitudes whatever. about what they're going to expect and walks out with their minds open a bit and maybe thinking a little bit more about what's going on in the world and, and still had a good time, that's success as far as that's, we've been successful that night then. Most recording artists perhaps uh, would equate success to having a, a top ten record or something of that nature. Do you well, see it that, in that we're way? We're against recording. rock and roll business and rock and roll prostitution. As I say, the original spirit of rock and roll was just people... Uh, it, it, was, it was meant as a form of attack, really. I don't think any art is legitimate unless it attacks people. I mean, it, I, I mean, uh, I mean even, even with painting or film or something, it's got to be something that... Uh, arouses some kind of deep uh, positive or negative thought rather than something that goes in one ear and out the other. What you say though sort of implies that you you shouldn't be getting fun out of it. That's crap. We get a lot of fun out of it. Yeah. I mean it's more gratifying to be able to survive even if it's at a pretty low level doing this than it is to slave away wor working an eight hour a day crap job yeah, like you are. All right then one final question. What can people expect when they go and see a concert by the dead Kennedys. Come down and find out. We're not going to put any preconceptions in your mind that um, it's going to be this or that. But we don't want people coming down to make trouble, basically. And uh, we are pretty anti-violent. I suggest you come down for yourself and find out. I'd like to see you out front.